call me Santa Claus. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Arena. I'm a real estate agent in Oregon. And if you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll know that on my channel, we typically talk about all of the news and developments in the world of real estate, the workforce, and the economy at large, and why all of that information is relevant to you. I also do post vlogs documenting my experience as a real estate agent, but today's video is gonna be something completely different. In this video, I'm actually collabing with fellow YouTuber Mikhail on his channel. He has a lot of videos that document how much money he's able to make working various delivery driver platforms. He has a lot of other awesome content on his channel, but that's just a small part of it. He's done Uber Eats, Grubhub, DoorDash, and Amazon Flex, which is actually the platform that we'll be working on for today's video. So I actually have never worked on a delivery driver platform before. I had no idea how any of it worked until this challenge, but we thought since I have no experience in it, it would be fun to do a little friendly competition and see who would make more. With him being more of a veteran, he's tried pretty much every app that's out there and with me being a newbie. So make sure to stay tuned until the end of this video because I will reveal exactly how much money I made as a newbie working on the Amazon Flex platform for one day. And definitely make sure that you check out Mikhail's video as well. I'm gonna link it in the description box down below as well as in the cards right up here. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Good morning, I have about 20 minutes before I need to leave the house. My shift starts at 9.30, it's about a 15 minute drive and I'm going to try and get there 15 minutes early just so that I can start packing up if the packages are ready for me. I only have two shifts scheduled so far, two two-hour shifts, uh, and I'm hoping that I can get a third one in, so we'll see if one happens to pop up. I'll be checking throughout the day, but yeah, let's get this day started. Okay, I'm at my first location. It's in the Pearl. It's right next to my favorite coffee shop. I got a good parking spot. All right, it's 10:17. I have three more stops to go. Got my apartments out of the way in the first two stops. Sweaty already. Love that for me. Let's move on to my final three stops. I believe these are actual homes, so yay for that. <laughs> minutes away from my fourth stop. I, I got a little too excited once I finished my first two because I thought I had plenty of time, but I think I'm actually going to be running a little bit late for my next shift if I don't step on it. So... They are inside the house. Okay. I almost slipped on their driveway for real. It's so steep and it rained. But am I going the right way? I'm just gonna turn this way and hope for the best. And so first impressions, 
I am tired and it's only 11 o'clock <laughs> but no I mean honestly like this is super straightforward you just you know you pick up your packages once you get to your location you scan them in drop them off take a picture and you're off to your next uh, location I really think that this is great for people that are looking for something that is flexible or where you know they don't have to like commit to a full-time or part-time position So I actually finished right at 11 o'clock. I'm so glad that I didn't go overtime. So as you can probably tell from the footage, I was really nervous for my first shift. I didn't really know what to expect. I mean, I watched Mikhail's videos in preparation for my day of working Amazon Flex, but still, you really have to experience it to understand how it all works. I'm really grateful that Mikhail let me know that I needed to be looking for shifts several days in advance. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had any work for the day. It's super competitive and can be really hard to really get those desirable shifts scheduled. All right, now let's move on to my second shift of the day. Okay, so I'm trying to get a third shift for today. There was one that popped up in tw Ah! Did I? Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, no, I thought I missed something. Okay, so basically all I'm doing, just refreshing. Wish me luck, you guys. I wanna make more money than him, so. I need a shift. I need a shift to pop up, like, now. <laughs> I'm probably gonna keep trying for another, like, 10-ish minutes. Okay, so I wasn't able to find another shift. I'll keep checking. You guys, I had the stress of my life with the second shift. I was on such a time crunch. I barely had any wiggle room between the second shift and the third shift of the day. So I was really trying to be as fast as possible. But luckily I was able to finish on time with just a few minutes to spare to grab a quesadilla from Taco Bell before heading off to my third shift. That looks pretty good. Okay, so I don't really know where to go, but like there's this big Amazon delivery building and that little sign right there I know you can't see it but it says Amazon Flex I'm about to explore so this pickup location is a lot different from the first one that I was at over there it was kind of just you know you walked in you got your cart and you know you did your check-in uh, when you walked in but here you have to actually drive into the warehouse and you get checked in kind of like one by one okay i don't know if that over there is my cart or not but it has a whole car seat for like a child in it and I simply do not have the capacity to carry that. So we don't have the capacity. Can you imagine if it's at an apartment? I will cry. I will. Call me Santa Claus. Yes, oh my goodness. Okay guys, now I'm cool. Now I have a vest. Great success. One package down, a ton left to go. 
19 to be exact. I'm on my last package. I'm exhausted. I'm completely wiped. This was definitely the most tiring shift out of the three. Just uh, in terms of, obviously it was longer and there were a lot more locations and I got confused with directions way more than the first two shifts. But I'm um, about to go drop this off and I'll be done for the day. And it is 5.35. My shift technically ends at six. So I'll finish about 20 minutes early. Bottom line, I got lost a lot more during this third shift. The packages were heavier. It was dark outside and I was not having a good time. But finally, all of my packages had been dropped off and I was able to go home and my day of Amazon Flex was over. I finished, I think, an hour later than Mikhail did. All right, drum roll, please, because this is the moment that we have been waiting for. I'm going to show you guys my earnings for the day. So for my first shift, 9.30 to 11.30 a.m., my base pay was $36. In tips, I made $42 and my total was $78 for that first two hour shift. Not too shabby, my tips surpassed my base pay, which is kind of cool. And the second shift is actually even better. So my second shift was from 12.30, so noon, uh, to 2.30 p.m. My base pay was $36, tips were $51, and so my total for the second shift was $87. All right, now my last shift of the day was from 3 to 6 p.m., and that is without tips, so they just give you a set pay, and the amount that I was paid for that was $105. So $270, my phone screen is kind of dirty, $270 for the day for one day it wasn't even eight hours i think it was seven hours uh this is by the way the um there we go this is the earnings screen and i'm gonna put it on the screen here as well so that you guys can see that i am telling you the truth so yes 270 dollars for the day now i don't know what happened jeffrey bezos himself smiled down upon me and gave me a $25 bonus. They were having like a promotional period, I guess. So that bumps me up to $295 for the day. So if we take that $295 and divide it by seven, which is really realistically the amount of hours that I worked, that comes out to just about like $42 an hour. That's not bad. <laughs> that's, that's pretty phenomenal. I did not expect to make as much as I did. Now, I don't remember how much Mikhail made, but you know what, that's okay because I remember the most important part and that is that I won this challenge. <laughs> We're not counting the $25 bonus in the earnings for the challenge because it's something that doesn't normally happen. So. We're counting my pay as $270 for the day. I think his was like 230, 240, somewhere around there, but definitely watch his video because he'll have that breakdown for you as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had such a good time filming it. It was really fun to do something that I wouldn't normally do for my channel. So if you guys enjoyed it, definitely let me know in the comments down below. And if you have any other videos that you want me to make, if you would like for me to branch out more in my content, definitely leave all of your suggestions in the comments. I want to hear all of your thoughts and opinions. If you would like to interact more with me and see my life behind the scenes, definitely follow me on Instagram, which is at ArenaD. I love interacting with you guys on there. I love it when you DM me. It's so fun to get to know who you are. If you would like to support my channel, the absolute best way that you can do that is simply by liking, commenting, and subscribing. That really helps the channel grow. Also, as you guys know, I am a real estate agent in Oregon. That is my main job. That's what I do. It's what I live for. So if you have any real estate needs, whether that's buying a home or selling a home in the state of Oregon, all of my contact information is in the description box down below. I would love to hear from you and help you achieve your home goals. Other than that, you guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I truly appreciate you spending your time with me and I will see you next week for a brand new video. Bye.